What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, Earthmaster back with an update video here on a uh, rather large earthquake out here around the Indonesia area. Uh, this 7.5 earthquake just striking the region right now, the Indonesia area. 10 kilometer depth for that earthquake. The USGS has not reported on it yet. This is the EMSC showing up here on the globe. 7.5 earthquake just coming in. And of course you can see that rather large signature, <clears throat> excuse me, on the Japan station, the first station here that I have pulled up uh, that's listing that earthquake. So rather large earthquake coming in right now, 7.5. Let's go ahead and check out a little bit of information on this earthquake here from the EMSC model. Of course, the USGS not, well, there we go. We got it kicked up here, 7.6 by the USGS. They're pretty quick. What's going on there? They're getting, they're getting on with the show. 75 kilometers for the 7.6 in the Indonesia area. Of course, over the last couple days, we've seen a pretty significant increase in deep, very deep earthquake activity throughout this region here, uh, and no doubt contributing to the 7.5 that just struck. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, Tsunami Warning Center here real quick, see if there is any type of uh, issue on this. It doesn't look like it. Everything looks to be in the clear on this 7.6, which struck in the uh, Floor C area. Looks like um, an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.6 occurred. Based on the preliminary earthquake parameters, hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coast, wait a minute here, <clears throat> are possible for coasts located within a thousand kilometers of the earthquake epicenter. So these guys are saying one thing and then, hold on a second here. These guys are kind of all over the place. No tsunami warning, but in their message, they're stating that there is. You guys see that? Based on the preliminary earthquake parameters, hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coasts located within a thousand kilometers of the earthquake epicenter. So maybe they're just getting on with it right now, uh, but that's clearly what they state right there. You guys can check it out for yourself at tsunami.gov. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the buoys out around that region for that uh, rather large 7.6 that the USGS now is reporting um, I don't see anything in event mode at the moment uh, when it comes to the uh, tsunami possibilities, at least here in this area. Of course, there's not a whole lot in this region. I was checking out uh, all of these, and uh, there's just not a whole lot, folks, uh, showing the data. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh this page from the tsunami.gov website. Still, they're saying no tsunami warning watch or threat. Uh, so the non-U.S. Canada Pacific threat, let's check the Hawaii threat out real quick. Uh, no tsunami threat on that one. American Samoa, no tsunami threat from that earthquake. Let's check out the Guam. Um, let's see what's going on here. These guys may be getting overloaded with some data right now. Okay, let's go ahead and read this real quick non us canada pacific threat let me see maybe people are probably overloading their uh, website at the moment so anyway you guys seen it double check it for yourselves if um if you have any worries about that earthquake but once again 7.6 earthquake occurring in the indonesia area in the floor c region 76 kilometers pretty deep earthquake activity here we have been watching a trail of movement point in this region over the past couple days it has died down but uh, all the deep movement from the pacific plate and the area through uh through the fiji islands vanuatu area and solomon islands all that deep movement contributing to a uh, pretty good buildup of pressure in this region so uh, once again 7.6 indonesia area folks we will be back uh, a little bit later if things change when it comes to the tsunami for now stay safe out there 